Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Erin from LizzieandErin.com. I've got a super cute craft that I'm gonna show you guys. This is a great uh, gift idea. This is a great home decor idea for you to use year round. Um, I think it's just adorable. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get started to show you guys what we're gonna be working with. I'm using the Dollar Tree uh, craft sticks here. Um, I'm only gonna be using maybe uh, 10 or so of them, if that. Piece of scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. You can get those for four for a dollar. I've got one small little clothespin that I'll be using. This sign is also from Dollar Tree. And um, we're gonna dress this guy up. Also gonna use some Waverly Antique Glaze, some Apple Barrel White Paint, and some Mod Podge that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And a brush to put all that on, a pair of scissors. And these wooden beads were, um, they were all just the natural beads, okay? And then I wanted to do white and green. So all I did was just paint them. So um, you can do this little bead garland just like this, uh, paint your natural wooden beads. And then I also tied a knot in between each one, okay? So I'm gonna use that also for the hanger for our sign. So the first thing we're gonna do to get started here is we're gonna take our sign and we need to cover our sign with our paper. So. I am gonna go ahead and cut where I need to cut. Make sure everything's lined up. I'm gonna make a mark with a pin down the side over here where I need to cut. Just like that. Set my sign off to the side. Let's cut this out. And then we'll mod podge it in place. We're gonna make something super cute that can be around all year long, um, or this can be a great gift idea to give to someone. All right, let's double check and make sure that that fits. It is perfectly, whoop, it is perfectly okay if it is a tad bit big because um, we can smooth it off and get rid of the excess, just as long as it's not too short, okay? Mine seems to be covering everything. It looks to be a little bit big, but that is okay. Okay. So now we're gonna take our uh, Mod Podge and I'm just gonna put some on here. And then we're gonna brush it all around. Especially around these edges. Get it nice and sealed down in place. Spread it all around. Just like that. Perfect. Now, get that on there. Smoothed out. Be sure to smooth out any bubbles that you may may have, smooth those out, pressing along the edges, making sure that's down good, just like that. All right, there we go. Already our sign looks completely different and uh, super pretty. Okay. One way you can get rid of these edges is you can go around with your scissors and trim some of it off. Um, it might take you a while to do that, but if you go at it with just a little sanding block that you can get from the Dollar Tree, just sand it around the edges just like this. It'll take it right off. Just like that. find this to be the easiest way to uh, trim off that extra paper. Bubbles coming up, so I'm gonna smush those down. 
there we go, guys. Perfect. All the edges are trimmed off. Awesome. Love it. Okay, so now let's move on to the next part that we're going to work on. What I'm doing is I'm turning this into a picture frame. And the way that I'm going to turn it into a picture frame is I'm going to take my uh, craft sticks, okay? And I'm going to take um, two, four, six, eight. 10, 11, okay, 11. I'm gonna take 11 paint sticks is what I'm gonna be using. So two, four, six, eight, 10, and 11. And then two, essentially you're gonna need 13 all together. Okay, set those two off to the side right now. All we need right now is 11. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the ends of these, take your regular scissors, and we're just gonna cut off the rounded part right there like that. Whoop, that one broke a little, that's okay. They just cut right off just like that. I'll show you again. They just cut. You try to cut at the same spot for each one so that they're about the same uh, length, okay? Then, so let's just pretend like I just cut all of those, okay? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay them all out, okay? They're all cut. They're all even. We're gonna lay them out, line them up how we want them, and then we're gonna take our other two and we are going to lay them across the back like this and we're going to hot glue them in place okay once they're nice and straight this i've already done it and this is what i did right here so hot glue the back in place so that they're all going to stay together like that so this is what the this is what we're going for right here. And I said 11, I did not use 11. 2 4 6 8 9. I used 9. That's why they weren't reaching. Okay. 9 paint sticks, two on the back, so 11 all together. And then once I did that, like I said, I hot glued those in place to to hold the whole frame in place. Then I took my Waverly antique glaze. I wet my paint sticks. I I just spritzed it with some water. And then I brushed on the Waverly Antique Glaze to get this effect right here. Still a tiny bit wet. I did it beforehand so that it would be uh, dry by the time I popped on here. So anyhow, so that's what I did. What we're gonna do is we are gonna turn this into a super cute uh, picture frame, guys, that we can use year round. We're gonna hot glue this on here and our little clothes pin like this. Um, but what I'm going to do first is I want to add a little bit of, I'm going to dry brush some white on this board that we made out of our craft sticks. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of my white apple barrel paint and my little brush, the one that I just used for the Mod Podge. And with a little bit of paint on my brush, we're just going to swipe across. I'm using a really small brush. Um, probably... Probably want to use like a medium sized brush actually. Don't use one this small. And actually, give me just a second. I'm going to pull out a bigger one. Because we'll be here all day if I don't. Here we go. So I'm switching from this little guy to this big guy. But same thing. Just gently brush on your white paint right over your wood. I'm barely touching my, my surface with the brush. Now I'm just kind of going in and, and Spreading out my paint a little bit, adding some here and there, um, just so, so I get it to how I like it. So just play around at this point um, with uh, the dry brushing until you like it. And if you put too much paint on there, like I just did kind of right there, what you'll do is you can go back once it dries, take your sanding sponge and just brush it back. And it'll go right back down to that stain where you started.
All right. I think I'm happy right there, guys. I like it. Okay, so that's what I've got right now. And what I can do is go over it with my sanding sponge. I'm gonna go around the edges and just kind of rough up the edges just a little bit. Give it a little bit of a distressed look. You can lay this this way, or you can lay it long ways like this. Um, it's up, it's completely up to you on how you want to do it. Um, I think that I am going to, hmm, can't decide. I think I'm going to go ahead and do it this way, only because a lot of my pictures are long ways like this, um, little four by sixes that are long ways. So, yeah, I'm going to do mine like this, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna look at it and see how I like it. And because I did stripes for my background on my paper, I know that I'm gonna be about a quarter of an, a quarter of the, the way up, up into my black stripe here. Okay, so now that I know where I'm gonna lay it, that's where I'm gonna focus right there when I go to lay it. I'm gonna put my hot glue right here on the backers that we put on there to tie these all together. Cause that's the raised part. There we go. Now right here is where I'm looking, right where I wanna put it. Okay, and then just press it down so that your backers are nice and flat on your board there. There we go, y'all. That's what we have so far. Isn't that cute? I love this. This is a great gift idea. Okay, now I have this little clothespin here. Sorry about my messy hands. And I'm just gonna hot glue it right here at the top part of my um, little board that we just made for pictures. And I'm gonna put it right in the center. Kind of mush it in place. Just like that. There we go. Oh, and I actually happen to have a picture right here. I didn't even realize this was out here. I've got a, a cute little Christmas picture from last year of me and my son. So, ta-da! It's a little small. But uh, but anyhow, that'll kind of get, give you guys the effect of that. But let's, while that's drying, let's cut off our twine on the back because we are going to put our decorative uh, wood bead garland on the back there. Now again, these were just natural wood beads. They were they looked just like this when I got them. I painted them green and white, tied a knot in between each uh, bead when I put it on there, and that is how I got this. There it is up close. Super cute. Natural bead, green, green paint, and um, white paint. Okay, and I'm just gonna hot glue this in place here where the other one was. I um ha I do have a staple gun, but I'm not going to use it because this board is so thin and my staple gun is a heavy duty one. So it's gonna um, shoot straight through this. So that is why I'm hot gluing this on. If you happen to have a light duty um, stapler, stapler, then you probably wanna go ahead and staple that in place. But for me, I'm just gonna put a glob of hot glue just like that. Use my scissors to spread it out. And wham, bam, that is it. Now we just gotta wait for the glue to dry. As soon as this is all dry, I'll flip, 
this one over so everybody can see how cute this is. There we go. I think that's dry enough. You guys, what do you think? I love it. So you guys, even if you uh, don't put pictures inside of this, you could do things like this. Like I've got a few Christmas ornaments sitting here. Here's a cute little galvanized metal ornament you could put in there. Here's a cute little star order, ornament you could put in there. You know, you could, you could hang stuff like that. Um, you don't even have to put pictures in it. And look how cute that is. What a great gift idea. All right, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this little craft. I know I did. I know this guy is gonna go inside on my walls inside my house, cause I just love it. But uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Check out lizzieandaaron.com uh, for more easy crafts. And I'll see y'all again soon. Thanks, bye.